How's it going, fan fans? And as some of you probably know, I have a show called The Crow that's been running for 40 weeks where I ask trick questions and riddles and stuff like that. Today we're seeing how good I am at answering them. We're checking out a video called Five Riddles to Test Your Brain. Let's get into the video. Welcome. Are you ready to face five logic riddles which will test your mental sharpness? Sure. They go from very easy okay. to very hard. Alright, let's do this. Write down in the comments how many you were able to solve. Let's get to the very easy yet tricky riddle number one. Very easy yet tricky riddle, if okay. It takes That's five weird. machines, five minutes to make five t-shirts. How long would it take hundred machines to make hundred t-shirts? Well, five, right? Yeah, it's five. Your intuition might have fooled you if you didn't think carefully before answering. The answer is... Five minutes. Yes. Each machine takes five minutes to make its t-shirt. Therefore, each of the hundred machines would have finished making its t-shirt in five minutes. Yeah. The second riddle is a bit harder. There is a special offer at a closed garden shop. They sell super grass, a patch of sort that doubles in size every day. Peter is excited about that offer and figures that his garden is big enough that if he buys one patch, it will cover his garden in 10 days, because each day it doubles in size. Peter decides to speed up the process and buys two patches of sorts. How many days will it now take for the super grass to cover the whole garden? Pause here well, and five, take your right? time if you want to. Okay, so the logical answer here is five, but if it doubles every day, does that mean it will take less time because it doubles? So it's probably two and a half days. Three, two, one. To cover the garden with two patches will take only one day less. If one patch covers the garden in ten days, it covers half of the garden in nine days. That means after nine days, each of the patches has covered half of the garden. If you got that right, well oh. done. If you solve the next, you're already above average. A young okay, man is traveling with his see. wolf and two sheep. The wolf likes okay. the taste of sheep a lot. And that means if the man leaves the wolf alone with the sheep, the wolf will eat them. He will eat the sheep. They come to a river and need to cross it. The man finds a small boat okay. that can carry only him and one animal. Now he got a problem. How can he get himself, the wolf, and the two sheep across the river safely? Pause the video now to figure it out. Alright, so you take the wolf across. I'm guessing that's the first thing you do, right? Because that leads to two sheep on the other side. And then you go back for one of the sheep, but then you're leaving it. How is this possible? How is this even fucking possible? You get the wolf, right, you take it to the other side, you grab a sheep. You grab a sheep. And then you go back, leave the sheep there, take the wolf back, get the other sheep, bam. Do you come up with the answer? The first thing the man needs to do is take the wolf over and return with the Alright, got it. Then he can go over with one sheep and return with a wolf. Now, yes! go over with the second sheep and leave the wolf alone. Again, return with nothing and finally take the wolf over. Yes! Nailed it. Now we come to the hard riddle. Okay, let's go. Four criminals agree to play a game in order to gain their freedom. Okay. The four criminals are lined up on some steps as shown in the picture. Okay. They are all facing in the same direction. Right. The wall separates the fourth man from the other three. Right, to separate, so what? Man one can see man two and three. Man two can see man three. Man three can see none of the others. Right. And man okay, four yep. can also see none of the others. The criminals know uh, that yep, they are given the two black hats and two white hats. But they initially don't It's know. hard though, because I'm imagining that as a door, not a wall. What color hat they are wearing. They are told to shout out the color of the hat they are wearing as soon as they know for certain what color it okay. is. They are not allowed to turn around or move. They are not allowed to talk to each other 
and they are not allowed to take their heads off either. Who's the first person that will definitely shout and why? Hmm. Um, alright. So. Would it be number four? Because he's behind a wall so no one can hear him? Lyndon, I don't think you understood the question at all. Is that, is that the answer? I don't know. I have to keep watching. Man 2 is the first person who will definitely know his head color. That's because Man 1 can see Man 2 and Man 3. If they have the same head color, he already knows the color of his own head. But if Man 2 and Man 3 have different head colors, Man 1 is not able to tell his own head color. Based on Man 1's silence, Man 2 is able to interpret that he and Man 3 are wearing different head colors. A good friend challenges you. He hands you a normal deck of 52 cards. Okay. He tells you that 13 of the 52 cards are face up, the rest face okay, down, yeah. and the face up cards are distributed randomly throughout the deck. Yeah. You are blindfolded and can't see anything. Your task is to create two piles of cards with the same number of face up cards, and you have to use all the cards. Okay. How can you accomplish this seemingly impossible task? Remember, you have no idea where on the deck the face-up cards are, and you don't see anything. Well, so you have to make two piles, one in the face-up, one in the face-down cards. All right. Ah, oh, God, I've got no idea on this one. This one's got me. Does it feel different or something? Because, you know, you you still got your hands. But what kind of... These are ordinary cards, so they probably wouldn't feel different from both sides. How would you do it? I'm clueless, man. Got no idea. Let's just find out because I, I can't answer this. A great riddle. There's one strategy that guarantees you to win. Take the first 13 cards off the top of the deck and flip them over. This is the first pile. The second pile is just the remaining 39 cards. What the fuck? That's the worst riddle I've ever heard. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you did so, click like. All my newest videos are around right now, so check them out over here. I'll see you guys very soon for another filler video.